Welcome to this complete backup for Saturday's video. Uh, fun fact, I just spent God knows how long making an acrylic painting tutorial for this painting. And in the process, just about everything that you could imagine went wrong, including me formatting my card and deleting all of the footage for this painting. Super fun, right? When I finished filming the video, I went and looked back and there was a glare over the whole painting and all of the footage was absolutely unusable. Mmm, I'm in a mood. So not feeling so great, but luckily I've got some footage for a backup video so I can get a video out to you on Saturday. So this isn't the video I wanted to put out, but that tutorial, I'm still gonna get it to you. I promised you a long time ago. It is coming, I swear. I'm gonna get it to you, just not this week, unfortunately. But here you go. Here's a little, a little walkthrough of a painting I did a little while ago. I did a cute little rainbow cloud. It's mostly in oils, but you can see we're starting here with some acrylics. And um, what I'm doing is I'm just putting a base color down with this like bluish kind of color. You can see me just like blocking in where I want my clouds to be. And then also just filling in kind of the colors to creating a little bit of contrast so I know exactly where stuff is. And then finally I'm taking a little wet brush and then a tiny wet rag and I'm just removing some of that color so I know exactly where my rainbow is gonna go. And then I'm going in with my acrylic colors. Unfortunately, I didn't record the actual color mixing process for this video because uh, I didn't plan for it to be like a full thing ever, but <laughs> it's, it's stepping up to be what, what it never dreamed it could. But luckily the colors for this video are pretty simple. I'm literally just using a mix of ultramarine and a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red and then just gradually mixing that with white to create this like almost monochromatic color scheme with these clouds. And then I'm going in with just some primary colors for my um, little rainbow there. So it's not a crazy difficult color mixing video. So if you wanna follow along with this video, you're more than welcome to. Sorry, I don't have the colors mixed for you on video, but we have something at least. So what I'm doing here first is I'm taking the darkest version of my blue that I have mixed up. I'm very slowly adding a little bit of white to it and then moving up and up and up on our sky color to get lighter and lighter slowly. They blend really easily so I can just keep adding color and then slowly blending stuff in. And I kind of want to create a little bit of texture here, like there's some clouds back there. So I'm creating spots that are a little extra light and then spots that are a little bit darker, a little bit varied, a little bit non-uniform. I want it to look very natural and I want it to look like there's some light coming through at the very top that's illuminating those parts of the clouds. Then I'm taking a little bit of white and I'm just covering the part where my rainbow is gonna be. And I'm just doing that so that when I put my rainbow colors, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple on there, they're gonna blend a lot smoother because they already have something to work on. First and foremost, I'm taking my little red and I'm slowly streaking it on to my sky there. Then I'm going into my orange and then yellow. And then green, of course, blue and purple. So I have my little, little rainbow started there. And then I'm taking a nice flat dry brush and I'm just blending it out so it kind of gets a lot smoother. You can see it just smooth out as soon as I do that. And then I'm tweaking it. I decided I wanted my red to be a little more vibrant there. I wanted to add a little more, blended that out. And then did the same thing with the orange, just going back in and bringing up the vibrancy on those colors because I thought they were looking a little dull at first. Do the same thing with the blue and the green and the purple. Blending that all out till it's nice. And I kind of blended out the top more so it looks like it's fading away and keeping the bottom part a little more like solid, a little more distinct. Ooh, and I randomly put yellow on that cloud and I don't know why, I must have put the wrong color on there. Then I decided to go in 
with, it's the same colors that we used in our sky initially. I started with a bright white to get the little puffs on those clouds going, and I'm just kind of defining where they're going, putting in the little tiny little round tops on them so I can make them look nice and fluffy, nice and bright, and cover up that bottom part of our, our whoa, cover up that bottom part of our rainbow so that it looks like the rainbow is just ducking behind those clouds. Then I'm taking another layer and I'm going a little bit darker. I added just a little more of that blue from our sky color. And I'm doing another layer of puffs, just a couple more. Blending it out, blending it in, making sure it looks nice. And then I'm starting at the bottom with the darkest part of our cloud in the foreground and just creating the shadowed part. Kind of a, you can see me just very thinly putting this paint on. I'm almost like scrubbing it on just so I can get a very thin layer and that helps me add more color on top of it. If it's too thick, it'll be really hard for me to continue to add colors on top and I just kind of want to tone the, the painting a little more. And then I'm pumping up the contrast, going even darker, real dark right there on the bottom so it looks really, really shadowed. So I want some drama here. I wanted to have super drama clouds in the background, super drama clouds in the foreground. And then just through the middle is a beautiful little rainbow. I'm a rainbow fan, in case you didn't guess. I should paint rainbows more often, honestly. I don't know why I don't. I should totally, I should be constantly painting rainbows. They're just the prettiest ever. Then I'm going in with some lighter colors and just detailing the insides of the clouds, showing where maybe some more light is coming through and touching the tops of those clouds. This is just my detail time. I'm taking as much time as I want to fill in all this stuff. Especially, I'm taking some bright white and I'm dabbing little, like, little, uh, almost circular, but they're kind of like more organic than a perfect circle. Puffs on the top part of the clouds and then a light color, dabbing puffs on the middle ground and then I'm just taking my flat brush and I'm blending them all out and then that's our sweet little finished rainbow. I'll see you in the next video.